Hello my friends and welcome back. Today I'd like to talk about, we'd like to talk about uh, the art of being and just being as opposed to doing and living and action and moving forward and all of those other things that the art of being is actually highly underrated and it's something that we don't take that we take for granted and we don't take into our hearts as much as it actually should be and because we're just kind of unaware of the benefits i feel like at the beginning of hum time of humanity not time in general but at the beginning of humanity all there was was to survive and to be so when you were not in the survival mode of trying to find food or protecting yourself from tigers or lions and disease and things like that went which was not most of the time most of the other time was spent just being and simply just existing and just taking in the wonders of the world and i think that we have developed industries around things like that the travel industry could be one i mean like i know that you go and you see sites and stuff but a lot of times going on vacation is kind of just about getting back to being about you know that relaxation of just simply existing without responsibilities and pressures and having to go here and having to go there and do every you know get everything done you know the travel industry is about leisure and about just existing and having ple pleasurable experiences and so it's not completely about being and is definitely still tied into the egoic construct of doing you know um what are you going to do on vacation but it is also largely about being and when I want to talk about being, I want to talk about it in a way of not just like existing and just, it is kind of just existing, but not in a, the way to describe it would be like a lazy way or no, like you want to consciously be because we are human beings. So being it is, is at our nature it's who we are we are human beings so we are here having a human experience but we're as a being being be and i think that it's really powerful that as we start to move through our day that we take some moments to just be because our our day is a lot of times filled with go 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 and getting things done and just moving on from one one thing to another and it really takes away from that aspect of allowing ourselves to just be to just be in the present moment to just be here and to just simply exist and to just simply observe because essentially that is pretty much what we're here to do is like observe and to learn we are the observer and we're here to evolve through learning and through growth so being able to just be present and observe what's going on in your world what's going on on your inner world the outer world everywhere and not just and also just plain being so you can be and observe but that is still almost like an action like What's going on? What am I thinking? What am I feeling? You know, and it still is, that can still be a distraction from the present moment, but it is also important to have those moments as well. But when then when you drop down even further and you allow yourself to just absorb the present moment and just be, just without thinking, without feeling, without whatever and I know you're gonna you're thinking well like I can't do that for very long and that's okay a few moments every day to just bring your energy level down take a few deep breaths and 
and to just exist and to know that at the very core of your mission of your being that that is at the core is just being being present and just living in the present moment and just absorbing the present moment has really really powerful effects on the rest of your life and it has a lot of powerful effects on the physical body because as we move through our day a lot of times we are so used to living in fight or flight that we don't even realize that we feel that way you know we are used to living in a constant state of stress and a constant state of hurry and i can even feel as i'm saying that i can feel internally my energy start to rise as i speak about that and now i don't know exactly what's happening happening physiologically in my body right now but i can feel the rise of energy as i talk about that adrenaline rush about feeling in fight being in fight or flight and the thing is is it is okay for our bodies to feel that way but it is not okay for our bodies to stay that way our bodies were not meant to stay in fight or flight so they have our bodies have two systems fight or flight followed by rest and digest and what's happening is, is we are sending our bodies into fight or flight so often that our bodies are never allowed to go into that rest and digest systems. And that is extremely harmful because our bodies were not meant to sustain a sustained, prolonged state of stress. We were not built to do that. We were not built to do that physically, we are not built to do it mentally, and we are not built to do it spiritually. We didn't come here as spiritual beings to be in a constant state of stress. We came as spiritual beings to learn how to move through this life with ease and grace. That is part of why we forget who we are so we can remember and learn and grow through those experiences. But those experiences were not meant to cause us to live in this constant state of stress. That's not why we were here. It is the ego mind, that thinking mind, that has snowballed into what we now describe as life. You know, that constant need to be doing something, that constant need to achieve, that constant need to be keeping up with the Joneses and they're getting married, I need to get married too. They're having kids, I need to have kids too. They just bought a brand new car, they just bought a house, that constant comparison, I need to do that too. And then, which sometimes the outer comparison doesn't even hold a candle to what you're saying to yourself and how you're pushing yourself. I need to do more, more, sleep less, achieve more, eat less, be in better shape. You know, let's be a top performer. I need to get up earlier. I need to stay up later. Grind, 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 because I need to be doing more because I have this internal fire to say more, 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 more. And that fire will burn you to the ground. Yes, we have a, we do have this internal desire to learn and to grow and to evolve, which we interpret as achieving, achieving, achieving. And that internal fire is good because that's what keeps us evolving. However, that internal fire mixed with our egoic mind, mixed with the collective's egoic mind of what should be going on has proven to be a very, very dangerous combination. And the way it's proving to be a dangerous combination is look at, look at our world right now. Look at the pain people are in. Look at the sickness that people live with. Look at the hurt that people are feeling that are acting out on others and hurting others because they themselves are a hurt individual. Stop and look around. Look at what this constant need to achieve and this constant need to go and this constant need, you know, because that constant need then fuels our unworthiness because 
if we felt whole, complete, and worthy, would we feel as much of the drive to push ourselves to do what we think we need to do, to push, push, push? No, because a lot of that, really behind that curtain of drive is unworthiness, you know, because we need to prove our worthiness. We need to prove to each other, prove to ourselves, prove, prove, prove. We, and the reality is we don't have to prove anything to anyone. You know why? Because at the end of the day, we are all one. So why are we trying to prove to each other something that doesn't really make sense? Because at the end of the day, we're all each other. I am you, you are me on a very deep level. So why am I trying to prove something to you? And you're like, well, we all want to prove things to ourselves. So why wouldn't we just... You know, why wouldn't we want to prove things to each other? We always want to prove things to ourselves. But understand that even wanting to prove something to yourself is an egoic construct to win. Your ego always wants to win because losing or not winning, not even losing, your ego, your ego sometimes, to your ego, not winning is death. And that is the only thing your ego wants to do is avoid the e egoic death. But it is in that death of your ego that you allow your true self to be reborn. And your true self doesn't feel that need to prove something, to go all the time, to achieve. Like, yes, your true self, your spirit self, wants to be doing things that that's why we're here to do things and but is all like everything else we've talked about excuse me it is all about that balance it is all about that balance of existing and being and taking that deep breath balanced with inspired action and achieving and moving forward and evolving and learning and growing so it is not you can't be to one way or the other and like I said before balance is not always being in the middle balance is not always having and maintaining a perfect balance of everything no balance is bringing your awareness to what side you are on and if you are if you've been currently grinding and going and achieving and you know in that constant state of stress then you know that it is time to tip the scales the other way and I'm not saying go all the way to the other end and just throw your hands up and not do anything anymore I am saying to simply just incorporate more moments of being into your day when you realize that you're living in a constant state of stress and you are go 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 and you're achieving achieving doing 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 try to incorporate more moments of being you can what i would recommend is that you start your day with a being practice it can be meditation it can be grounding it can be a lot of different things you have to find what works for you but something that really drives you into the present moment something that where you are able to put down the rest of your day that you're able to give yourself that permission to put it down for that 5 10 15 20 minutes whatever you take and to breathe and to be and just give yourself those moments of being I also suggest that you do this at the end of your day and it doesn't have to be a concrete meditation. It can just be a few minutes in bed because sometimes I feel like we get in bed and even if we're watching TV, we're watching TV and then we're forcing ourselves to go to sleep. And What if you were to take a few moments before bed at the end of your day just to be? Put down the book, turn, turn off the TV, on you know let yourself unwind let yourself physically unwind let yourself melt imagine imagine a wave of relaxation and melting going over your body and relaxing every single part of your body to allow yourself just to be here just for a few moments 
and then incorporate it into as much into your day as you can. I don't think that we can incorporate it too much because I think that we are just so forced to be doing anything that, you know, if we were to take every moment to be that we could during our day, it almost still wouldn't be enough because I don't think that we would be able to put down all of our obligations and responsibilities to do that as much. So I say incorporate it as much as you can during your day because I don't think that you can incorporate it too much and don't be afraid that you're going to just let everything go to the wind because in reality, that's really not gonna happen, you know? So chop it up throughout your day. When you're at work, if you get off a stressful phone call, take those couple seconds, take a couple seconds just to be before you move on to your next path. Don't be and be thinking about your next path. You know, just stop and be and let yourself do that. Give yourself that permission. Give yourself that time, those moments. And I think that it would be healthy for all of us to bring ourselves down. Bring your, bring your body back into that rest and digest. Let it recover. Let it go. Because soon enough, you will be hit with something else. So... That is our message for today. Let's all try and take a few moments today to just be and just be here and just allow yourself to shut out the world and just melt into this moment. So my name is Anne. I want to thank you so, so much for tuning in and I hope to see you tomorrow.